Hi guys, today we'll be learning how to remember these, uh, which type of blood group has which antigen antibody and which blood group of donor can give to which blood groups and first we'll learn which blood group will have which antigens and which antibodies and first this blood group A, let me come here, blood group A have the antigen antigen A and antibody B. Just remember that it will it will give priority to itself only. Like see, A first A then B. Like the antigen is A and antibody is B. And then next coming to B, it has antigen B and antibody A. And remember like this, B will give priority to only B. So it has antigen B and antibody A. And A B will give priority to A B only, A B and zero. Like mean it has both antigen A and antigen B. So it has A B and no antibodies, therefore a zero. Then next coming to O, it has no antigen, so it will give priority O. It's just think this zero as a O. Just think it, okay? Then O, then A B, it's a zero, and A B like that means antibody A and B both. Then this is how you can easily remember the blood group which antigens and which body each antibody it has. Then coming back to blood group of donor and blood group of recipient which who should give to whom and coming here then it's also saying they are so selfish that they will think they will give to themselves only like this. And coming to blood group A it will give to A and AB. Only A and AB, when which A is also taking part, A and AB. And coming to B, it will give to B and AB only. See, so selfish B and AB. And then AB, AB will give to only AB. Only AB. Then O is a universal donor, it will give to everyone. And who is the universal recipient? AB. AB can receive all types of blood, whereas O. Blood group O can give to everyone. So kind. This is how you can easily remember the blood group. 8th chapter 8th. Uh, thank you so much.